Good morning. Um, like you said, my name is Coach Middleton. I am an assistant basketball coach for the Girls uh, League Blue Jackets program. To my left, I have India Stafford, a senior, and to my right, I have Paris Washington, a senior. Um, we got a lot of goals this year. We're moving to a different region, which is down to the 1A. Um, we're expecting to win some games, be challenged, um, and get back to the winning history from Savannah High School. Uh, our returning players, we have Pierce Washington, um, top player in the city of Savannah, India Stafford, Tanaya uh, Bryant, our major Mallard. Um, some guards will get after it offensively and defensively. Um, as far as, you know, making adjustments to the 1A, we're looking forward to playing Woodville. Um, we haven't played them in a while, but we look forward to the challenge that's going to be in front of us. Um, we actually already had our first game against Meadow Creek High School in Atlanta last weekend. We won by two. Major, um, our nation ballot made two key free throws to steal the game. Um, and yeah, we we're very excited about this year um, and what's to come. We got a lot of new key pieces, some freshmen, some big bodies that's going to come in and rebound, play good defense for us. Um, and our guards um, get after it defensively like they always do. Any questions? Coach, I think you guys have made the playoffs the last two years. Mm -hmm. How does that experience uh, really help the team going forward? It helps the team a lot with a lot of people returning. We lost a few seniors, but our core group is back. Um, they got good chemistry. They played together all summer. Um, being in the gym, working out together, hanging out, you know, getting that chemistry. So I think that's going to just build us up some more. Talk about your uh, your win against Meadow Creek. I mean, your, your win earlier. Mm -hmm. um, they've already played three. They had already played three games, and they're a much bigger seven A school. Mm -hmm. um, how were you able to adjust to stay focused on such a low scoring game? Um, just getting out there defensively, rotating correctly, you know, our guards rather than their guards going out here to rebound. Um, we send everybody down to rebound, guards and bigs, not just the bigs. So. Getting a win over a 718 going down to 1A for us was huge. As far as the as far as the shot clock, how have you seen the girls adjust? And I know that y'all just typically, because you tend to be more guard driven, like to play a lot faster. Do you think that's that's to your advantage as you continue to go on in the season? Yes, sir. Um, we've had a few shot clock violations just because the kids are adjusting to the shot clock, but other than that. It doesn't, we don't have a lot of shot clock violations, just a few of that first game, but I think we're going to adjust this one. One more question before you go on. I, I you, you, you caught, you caught your young lady watching the, the best player in the city. That's a lot to say, right? I said she's a top player in the city. Top player, excuse me, top best? Yes, top 10 players, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, do you think, do you think that, um, that that level of uh, will bring a little more pressure on your girls, or you think that she's ready to handle that? She can answer. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Savannah High girls basketball and. Looking forward to um, watching them play this year. They have some excellent guards. Um, they do have some.